everybody. So today we are going to be talking about one of the most important things in the world, coffee. And I'm going to show how I brew my coffee using a Chemex. Um, I think that if you love coffee, it is definitely something that you should consider. Um, I use it every day. Um, I do some form of pour over. I was using um, a V60, but I actually changed to Chemex and I love it. And I've been using it every day since. So let me show you. This is what the Chemex carafe that I use looks like. Um, not only does it make a terrific cup of coffee, but it's beautiful. So, um, and it's very iconic. If you're a fan of Friends, like I am, then you would definitely recognize this um, from Monica's house. I believe it showed up in the first episode um, of the series, and you could see it throughout. But it's beautiful. It's lovely. Um, it makes a fantastic cup of coffee that um, really just highlights the flavor of the coffee very crisp, very bright, um, and it lets you control how much you make, um, how strong you like your coffee. So I'm just going to be showing you basics of what I like, but it, you know, different videos down the line or other people, you can get different ratios if you like your coffee, um, you know, stronger, um, weaker than, than what I prefer, but I'm just going to show you what I use. So one of the other advantages to the Chemex is the fact that you can keep your coffee warm on the stovetop. So what I do is I get my burner going on a low um, setting and I make enough for two cups of coffee for me. I use my Ember coffee cup and I make enough where I can get two. Um, so while I'm drinking my first one, my carafe is on the stovetop, keeping it warm for my second cup. All right, so let's get started. First, we're going to go over here and we're gonna weigh out our coffee. So I store my coffee in these Airscape um, coffee canisters. So it keeps them nice and fresh. So my scale allows me to get a very precise measurement. And then we grind. So I use the Virtuoso Plus. So before we started, I had my water heating up in my kettle. And I'm just going to wet my filter. A little bit to get that wet and to let the hot water go into the Chemex. And then I'm going to pour out that water. So my ratio, I actually do 39 and a half grams of coffee beans that I grind. Again, I use the Virtuoso Plus uh, coffee grinder by Barista and it's amazing. I highly recommend it. So I've ground my coffee, so I'm going to go and I'm going to Pour it in. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to zero out our scale. Our turret, as they say. And then you want to first just do, we're going to go ahead and start the timer. And I just do a slow pour just to wet all of the brown coffee just enough so that we can have it get what's called a nice bloom. So we're going to saturate the coffee. 
I typically go to about 150, 160 grams to do that, and then I let it bloom for about 45 to 50 seconds total. And so now we're going to do our next pour. This is going to be our second of three. So I go slowly around in a circular motion. And this time I take it up to about 390 or so. So my ratio is 39 and a half grams of coffee, um, and I do 595 grams of water. That gives me um, a nice bold cup of coffee that's not too watered down. But again, my ratio is a little bit different than what you'll find for the average um, ratios when you're using a Chemex. And then my grind setting, you want to do that on a little bit of a medium setting to get the grinds to where they're not too fine because you really want, um, when it's brewing, for the Chemex, um, the process to really be able to extract the flavor really well. And so you do not want too fine of grounds for that. So I set my Virtuoso Plus on about a 20 for my grind setting. All right, and we're ready for pour number three. This is going to be our last pour. So this one, you go slowly around. You want to make sure you get all the grinds off of the side of the filter. And this pour is going to take me up to my total grams of water that I want, which is my 595. Trust me, as you do this, you're gonna, you know, it's a little bit of trial and error. You'll find your perfect, your perfect number. All right. And then what I do is a nice little swirl just around to make sure all the coffee's from the side, all the grounds are down. Anything that's settled at the bottom, just give it a nice little swirl. And then we let that finish running through. All right, guys, so once that's done, I'm going to be able to pour this into my ember mug, which is what I love because I love drinking out of a mug and it keeps it hot at my temperature the whole time. Um, so that's been a game changer for me. So we let this finish. I don't really need the scale anymore. Sometimes I give it just a little bit of an extra swirl. my kettle. Leave you to look at that beautiful coffee. All right. You see that inside. So I'm going to go over here where I'm going to empty out my grinds. So I like to just squeeze it up and gently squeeze out that excess coffee. And then I actually will add my um, collagen that I add in mine every day, my little bit of milk um, and stevia right in my pot and mix it up that way. And then I'm ready to drink. So that is how you use the Chemex Brewer. 
Comment below if you have any questions and I'll do some follow-up videos talking about the type of coffee that I use, um, a little bit more details on that because the type of coffee you're using and the quality is super important. All right, guys, have a good day.